Oh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys, but first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods on Balloon Star Defense 6. So I've been getting a lot of requests to do an updated version because there have been a couple of updates with Balloon Star Defense 6 that made my old how to install mods a little bit outdated. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Alright guys, before we get too far into the guide itself, I did want to go over one thing with you guys really quick. Now, when you guys are installing mods for Balloon Star Defense 6 or any other game on PC, make sure you guys are being extremely safe and make sure the site that you're downloading the mods from is a trusted site. I'm going to go ahead and provide you guys with a website that I have personally used to download mods before. On top of that, I'll also give you a Balloon Star Defense 6 modding Discord that I am personally a part of. So, that being said, let's go ahead and continue on with the guide. So, before we can actually start installing mods on Balloon Star Defense 6, we need this program called Melon Loader. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave this website in the description below. That way, uh, you, you guys can have a safe website to go ahead and download this Melon Loader from as well. So, that being said, this is going to be the link that you're going to click right here. You don't need to worry about Gurren Core. You don't need to worry about Balloon's TD6 Mod Helper. The only thing you need is Melon Loader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click this little uh, hyperlink right here and down here at the bottom of the screen. Of course, I'm going to come over here and now it is installed. Now, your virus protection might pull up if this is a safe program or this is an unsafe program. It's completely up to you guys if you guys want to install it. But I will let you, let you guys know this. You guys do need to have this in order to install some of the mods with Balloon Star Defense 6. So now that I went, or I went ahead and downloaded it, I'm going to go ahead and open up Melon Loader. And here we are. It's going to say Windows Protect Your PC. And this is just my virus protection saying that this might be a unsafe uh, program. So what I'm going to do, go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and bypass it and I'm going to run it anyways. Now, this, is, this isn't recommended in most cases, but uh, I have gotten a lot of really good feedback about this program, which is why I ended up trusting it. And plus I got all this information from a very reliable source. So now that I have Melon Loader, Melon Loader installed, the next thing that I need to do is I need to link Melon Loader with Balloon Star Defense 6. And the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go ahead and come up down here to Unity Game right here. So now that we uh, have located the Unity Game selection, we're, we're gonna go ahead and press select. And now what we are going to be looking for, uh, there we go. So now what we are going to be looking for is we are going to be looking for the Balloon Star Defense 6 game itself. So if you guys don't know where your Balloon Star Defense 6 is installed, there's a really easy way to find out where it is installed. Come over here to your Steam App Store and then right click on Balloon Star Defense 6. You're going to go down to manage and then you're going to browse local files. And what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and pull up a folder like so and this is where your blue star defense 6 is going to be located and the only thing you guys need, need to do is just press this button right here to go back and you can go ahead and backtrack it all the way to the point where you can find out where your blue star defense 6 is located luckily i already have a general uh idea of where my blue star defense 6 is located because i've already done this in the past so we're going to go ahead and go to steam apps common and then we're going to go to blue star defense 6 and then we're going to click on blue star defense 6. So now that we have Blue Star Defense 6 selected, we're going to go ahead and click open. And now that we have Blue Star Defense 6 open, there's one more thing that we're going to do. And it's uh, just because I know I, I need to do it for myself because I've, I've already gone through this problem before. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, click this box right here that says show alpha pre-releases. So once I have that clicked, I'm going to go ahead and come back over here to automated and I'm going to click install. Now, the only thing that the Metal Loader is going to be doing is it's going to be install or linking itself to your Blue Star Defense 6. And once you guys get the uh, Melon Loader installer successful icon, we're going to go ahead and press, press OK, and then Melon Loader will close out. So now that we have Blue Star Defense 6 installed, the next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and start up Blue Star Defense 6. Now, once you guys press start on, on the Blue Star Defense 6 page, you guys will get a little square box that will kind of run a, li a little bit of script. And the only thing it's doing is it's installing files to link your Blue Star Defense 6 with the Melon Loader, which will allow, allow you to install mods in Blue Star Defense 6. So now that I went ahead and started up Blue Star Defense 6, we have the mod folder in our uh, Steam apps 
folder. So now we can go ahead and close out Blue and Star Defense 6 and we can start installing mods. So now that we have all of that said and done, the next thing that we need to do is we actually need to find mods themselves to add to Blue and Star Defense 6. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this website in the description below if, if you guys would like a safe place to go ahead and find a couple of mods to install to Balloon Star Defense 6. But this website is called NexusMods.com. Not only can you uh, find Balloon Star Defense 6 mods, but you can find mods for a bunch of different games. And this website has been around for a really long, long time and it, it's a website that I personally trust and I have never had any issues with before. So the uh, when we're finding uh, Blue Star Defense 6 mods, uh, we we really don't have too much to go through. So I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and go with the Random Towers Remake. So this is a mod that I personally haven't seen before. It's a, rel it's a relatively new one, so hopefully it works. So uh, now that I found the mod that I would like to download, the next thing that I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and I'm gonna come up here to the top right where it says manual download. I'm gonna click the manual download right here. Um, okay, so it wants a Blues TD6 mod helper, NK hook six. All right, so right right here, it has NK hook six. This uh, application is out of date. So we need to go ahead and find a different mod, which is super unfortunate because I think it would have been really, really fun to get that one to work. Um, I guess the, let's just go ahead and find a different one that sounds a little bit fun. Maybe the hypersonic speed mod. This one should be relatively simple. So hopefully this one works. So let's go ahead and go to manual download really quick and see if we can. All right. So this, so this one should work. Now you guys can do the fast download where you guys don't donate or any of that or that or any of that fun stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and do the slow download. Usually that doesn't take too long. It's actually relatively quick. So next thing I'm going to do is uh, down here at the bottom left, it's going to pull up a hypersonic zip file. And what I want to do is I actually want to extract this file to a folder on my desktop. So we ended up having a little bit of a problem with the hypersonic mod. It needed another program that was a little bit outdated. So I ended up nixing that one and I went back to Nexus mod and I found a double projectiles mod that I ended up doing the same exact process with. So now that we have our uh, mod downloaded, we're going to have this file right here and it's going to be a DLL file. Once we have this file installed and we have it extracted, the next thing that we need to do is we need to come back over here to Steam. Now that we have Steam open, the next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and come down here to manage and then browse local files. Now, now that we have the browse local files open, the next thing that we want to look for is we want to look for this mods folder right here. And now that we have the mods folder located, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the double projectiles into the mods fo folder itself. Now that we have uh, the double projectiles mod installed in the mods folder, the next thing that we're, that we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start up Blue Star Defense 6 because now we have officially installed our very first mod on Blue Star Defense 6. So as soon as our game loads up here in just one second. Cool, we have our first mod installed. Now we're gonna go ahead and test to make sure our mod is working. And since we have a double projectiles mod, it's gonna be a little bit hard to tell if it's working or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Dartling Gunner just to make sure that our double projectiles mod is working. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed or not, but there's a little bit something different going on with the Dartling Gunner right now. And it definitely has the double projectiles mod. So we know it is working. And well, let's just go ahead and up up upgrade to, to the mad. And look at that, that's actually insane dudes. So now that we know the mod is working, we are free to play as much modded Blue Star Defense 6 as we would like. So now the next thing that I want to cover is really quick to go ahead and protect, protect yourself from getting the ban on Ninja Kiwi. Now there are a few good options to make sure that you guys don't get put into the hack the hacker pool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over the easy way first. And I'm going to go, go ahead and go over the best way next. So the first, the first way is don't play any online game modes. So don't play co-op, don't play challenges, don't play races, don't play Odyssey events. Just stick to single player gameplay and you guys will be fine. Uh, the next and best way to make sure that you guys don't get banned from Ninja Kiwi or get put into the hacker pool is um, make a second Steam account. Now, if, if you guys are a little bit curious on how to create a second Steam account, just Google on uh, Chrome or whatever internet browser you have. Just just uh, go ahead and look up how to create a second Steam account. And there are plenty of guides on Google or whatever search engine you use that will be able to go over the entire process of how to create a second Steam account and then link your two accounts together. That way you guys don't need to play Balloon Star Defense or pay for Balloon Star Defense 6 a second time. 
Now, there's one more thing that I need to go over with you guys, and that is, uh, what if I'm done playing modded and I just want to go back to playing vanilla balloons? Is there anything special that I need to do? And the answer is yes. What you guys need to do is you guys need to close out a balloon star defense six. So once you guys have Blue Star Defense 6 closed out, you guys need to go back to Steam, uh, do the same exact right click option on Blue Star Defense 6, go to Browse Local Files, and then come back over here to the Mods folder. Now, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to go ahead and delete both of these, like so. And now that we have these deleted, we could go ahead and resume playing Blue Star Defense 6 in the vanilla format. And we don't need, need to worry about getting put into the hacker pool. Now, if, if you guys would like it to be even more safe, you guys can, can go ahead and uh, reload load up the melon lo loader from your downloads option. And there is a uninstall option that you guys can go ahead and remove melon loader from Blue Star Defense 6. But anyways, guys, the last thing that I want to go over, um, I did get a lot of requests to go ahead and show you, show you guys how to install uh, mods on mobile devices and stuff like that. But I'm going to let you guys know right now, I do not have any plans to show, show you guys how to install mods on phones. Because in my opinion, I just think installing mods on phones is just way too sketchy and I have no idea how to do it. And I don't want to put you guys in risk and at the same time put myself at risk. So I'm going to let you guys know right now, I do not have any plans of showing you guys how to install mods on phone. Just because it's just a little bit too sketchy. But anyways guys, now that we've went ahead and I've gone over everything with, 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 with you guys. Please feel free to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Balloon Star Defense 6 content. But anyways, guys, you already know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And I will see you guys in the next one.